Dr. David Aronoff is the director of the Division of Infectious Diseases at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville. Good morning, Dr. Aronoff. You saw the pictures, uh, some quite large crowds, sometimes shoulder to shoulder without masks. What concerns you most when you look at pictures like that? Well, thanks for having me on. I think the major concern here is that the virus transmits from person to person through our breath. And our breath in these little respiratory droplets travels a short distance. And so the shorter distance that there is between people, the more likely there is to be a transmission event. And that's really what's concerning. If we're concerned about a spike in cases now, how do we prepare for that? How do states prepare for it? Well, we prepare a lot like we did when the COVID-19 pandemic was first coming to the United States, which is making sure that we have the healthcare personnel ready to go, that we have personal protective equipment, the PPE that we need, uh, and that we're doing all the testing that we can to identify cases as they surge and if they surge. When, when um, as we're looking at slowly reopening, uh, and, and most states have, all states actually have now begun that process, how do we assess the risk of easing social distancing? Well, that's really the challenge right now that we're all facing. And I think, again, one of the pathways forward here is having a good ability to test people uh, and identify cases get people who are infected to be able to self-quarantine and then even be able to trace their contacts to try and track down people who may have been infected. The, the Trump administration has, uh, has largely left testing and the response to this virus to the states. Do you think that's the right approach or do we need some kind of uniform national strategy and recommendations at least? Well, we're learning a lot as this pandemic has been unfolding about the importance of coordinating state level efforts with federal efforts. And I think really we need good solid public health infrastructure from top to bottom. And certainly state departments of public health are working overtime to make sure that people within their state are safe. And I think it's still good to be continuing to invest in state public health. Is um, a, a lot of health cons experts are concerned about a, a second wave, as I mentioned. Do you believe a second wave is, is inevitable? And if so, when is it most likely to, to occur? Well, I think we're going to see second waves for sure. The question will be where we see those and how extensive they are. Again, we may be more likely to see second waves in larger, more populated areas that open up sooner than others. And so it, it really may be a bit of a patchwork quilt where we see different cities that have waves of activity, even out of synchrony with other cities. And so the country is very large, and I think we can expect to see waves coming and going as we open up. And that'll tell us how aggressively we should be opening up or whether we should be dialing back and adding more restrictions in some sites. All right, Dr. David Aronoff at Vanderbilt University, thanks so much for being with us this morning.